I welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. I show you today how we can create with the curtain wall um, a slant, slant angle. As you can see, we're going this way, but also look at the front. They're also sloping that way, not just straight. Okay, so let's get into it. I got full plan here, just a simple um, slab and the front elevation, which I start drawing now my first bits, I call them. Okay, so this is just a line, and important is that you draw the line on a certain angle. So if you go here, obviously the angle is 90, so I draw this line at 75. Okay, so that's quite important. So what I do is next, I will draw a couple more. There will be my beams going both ways. For this I use a fill and we just, um, actually you know what, I take another line because I will use this line after quickly for the magic wand tool. So if I have the fill now, it doesn't really matter which fill, it's just a fill it's, uh, to use. I add this and now I just copy some over here. So you just copy a couple, maybe one more there. Okay, now to change the angle of those ones, which doesn't really matter, you just use the marquee tool and this way you can then just angle them the way you want. And as you can see, they stay the same height because I'm using the fill instead of just a line, which makes it much easier. Okay, look, this is not bad. Maybe I go down here and do a couple of those. Let's move over here and let's take this one a bit further here you know what take the whole one bit more this way and this down here we go there all right this looks cool so those are my my um, beams i like to draw with the curtain wall actually we will see in a moment on the other hand here what i can do is you take this one and you just duplicate it over, but you can also use the curtain wall to duplicate, but for me now, I'm quite happy if I just quickly uh, mirror copy, go in the middle here to finish this off. Okay, great. So I've got um, beams here and i show you what I have here. It's a very simple curtain wall, but I did take out all the frames. As you can see here, if you go to like a corner frame, it just says invisible boundary frame. So all the frames are made invisible, have a very simple panel and the scheme again, you leave this on one meter, one meter. Okay. So if I draw now in the section, I can use my magic wand tool. So I've got to make sure, hang on a second, I've got this, pick this one. Okay go back and we start using the magic wand tool. Oh, careful up here. I have to use the boundary first um, option. Okay, there you go. See, now all you have to do is you go along here and this will be, this will be your beams of the curtain wall, which as you can see, obviously are on different angles and after which I'll also move them Inside, you will see it inside. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the 3D. Okay, so that's all I've got for now. And you can see if you draw an elevation, it does draw everything just exactly on the elevation line. Leave it there for now, that's fine. The next bit is I use the curtain wall. Again, I just alt click to pick the, um, pick the settings. So if you go in here, it's very straightforward curtain wall, nothing special. Okay, so you do this exercise after, just put something in what you want and click OK and we go to the elevation. So now again, we can use the magic wand tool and it will put this in. Actually, you know what? Don't be too afraid. I, I did put it in, but what happened is, there you go. There, you see the distance here? I did not adjust this. So, that's how you couldn't see it in elevation. It is here. So let's make this zero for now. 
so it jumps onto the elevation line so if i go back now yes he turns up straight away so i've got to make sure if i do the next one to have that as a default setting and let's go from there okay all right so that should be our walls now all right i just saw something here you can see that doesn't look correct that doesn't really what i wanted to do so i show you again it's just a little tip here you can see at the bottom i again didn't put that on a default of zero so if you put zero vertical pattern offset you see that's where i really wanted to start with those okay so let's just change them over because they don't look as i like them to look so zero here and then it starts from down here going up yes looking much better much better okay so now obviously we got to move them to the slab so i'm dragging them and let's just drag this to the middle of the slab here let's have a quick look so you got this now and we might want to move all those ones to there you know let's just do that again and select them all they select and i really want to move this one here yes it's looking good now there's two options to slant them that way i show you one option is you just select them because they're all curtain walls you see i can just go 75 there you go so now you know it's it, this one is 75 and again that's another 75 here. now this is good but as you can see it rotated from the middle okay so if you want to do it from the edge here you have to do this in 3d just undo that step it's still selected so what you do is i can now say well okay let's rotate this now before i start rotating see it's a bit hard to pick so you have to pick the the plane zoom out a bit see that plane so i click once there and now it's stuck on this face now you can go there this way and as you can see angle down so 75 so 90 minus 75 is 15 so minus 15 will give me the 75 degree angle and as you can see it's going out exactly from there which is much nicer all right great now do a quickly one on the other side okay so we're going to the elevation here i select open this one and i prepared some fills already because the same thing so i speed this up a bit for you okay so this looks good now but as you can see obviously you will have a problem depending on the angle you always have a problem here so to fix this up i actually don't need those anymore i just showed you what happens so you just delete them and you go in to the 2d ground floor and we do this with the morph very simple so we take the morph here and we draw x 200 plus and y 200 plus i know my columns or beams here are 200 so that's why i'm doing this so let's use the marquee tool i don't need everything in 3d okay so you got now obviously your morph here and all you do is you select it be on the morph tool and we extend this okay and we go move a bit to there you see now just that's it all right cool now the next bit is really cool actually because you can still move this around but it's important you deselect and go to the arrow tool and then you've got a second arrow here okay if you use the second arrow, I'll show you what I, if you use that arrow like we always, you know, work a lot with, see? You select, and if I now like to move, 
it moves the lot or it just moves one polygon. But this elect, you take this one and you select again and now it just selected the top face. So that means now I can go and move up here, just move the face. All right, now how do I get this exactly there? That's not easy. So what we do is we actually gotta make sure this is the move tool. We actually draw a copy, which is sort of is a, I call it a construction copy. And we just move them back here. Do move it back here. Now it has to go to this angle here. So what you do is you take this one and oops. Oh, I gotta be very careful now. I have to be in this tool. All right, so drag. As you can see, we drag to there. And again, you drag to there. What this is doing, oh, so you know, it only, yeah, I thought I would have it only, it only dragged the, the surface. But you know what, for the, this is fine for us because that's all I need. Usually I would have been the whole, the whole column, but this is a reference guide for me. So I can now go and move this to there. And obviously I have the wrong material, so just change that quickly. I think I use this one here. Let's have a quick look. Get rid of the marquee tool. Yeah, that looks pretty nice now. There you go. So this, this corner piece now looks perfectly right. Okay, so that's the way you can finish off the corner piece. All right, this is, this is all for today. And I hope you enjoyed this little quick coffee tip and you will be back next time. Bye for now. Thank you.